Come on, man. I have a Most definitely. Uh, King Dave, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't even want to front with you. I don't want to stun or nothing, bro. I've been seeing a lot of shit going on on the internet. I've been seeing you on Say Cheese and a lot of other blog sites. You think we can speak on that? Okay, I want to know. Is uh, I've been seeing like I know you were Rico Reckless manager for a while. I know you was um kind of representing that brand for a little while. But recently, I kind of seen uh, documents that was floating around the internet that kind of allegedly looked like you might have did something to Rico Reckless. Maybe took some money or something. He posted something like that. I wanted to know. Do you know where that stemmed from? Man, first off, you can't post shit if it got my name on it. Second of all, you know, that shit just stemmed for me not bonding the nigga out of jail. Feel me? So, you know, he felt like it was my duty to bond him out, but shit, I feel like it was his duty to bond his own fucking self out. You know, you want to be hard headed, you don't want to listen, you want to run the streets with poles all the fucking time, and you want to run the motherfuckers to, to, to bond you out. You know, it's, you gotta be a grown man and stand on your own out here. Right. I don't mind helping no motherfucker. I got my own kids to take care of. Right. I want to know another thing though. Is this your first time actually managing an artist? No, hell no. You know, I had a little left. Right. When Rico and all of them want to be like. Right. Before he went to jail, you know, I had shorty. He was out here. He was going crazy. So mm. you know, it it's it, really like the only the only artist I had fuck with. Do, we talking to Tim right, because you know I hear a lot about Lil Less in um, you know, in the blog world like that. Uh, I wanted to know, bro. Uh, do this type of shit happen when you're managing? I mean, yeah, you know, it's the type of shit that happen, man. You know, especially with these artists, you know, they get these followers, and you know, the thing just start getting the niggas head, All right. and they forget structure. You know what I'm saying? And then they lose their integrity. And then they forget about the people that really love them. So, you know, they start getting spoiled. So they use followers as a way to, like, almost like a baby mama. <laughs> right. Shit. Right. And you got to do shit. You know, <laughs> the minute you don't do nothing, all you are dead, you know? Right, I understand that, bro. I wanted to know though, dude. You know, I don't know Chicago King Dave. I ain't gonna lie, cause you know, I I, I kind of like specialize on what's going on in Chicago, and it just seemed dangerous as hell. Now, when I see you beefing with a rapper, it kind of make me cringe a little bit. Do you feel comfortable? Come on, man. I've been out here. I've been in the trenches. I don't fucking rappers scare me, man. I ain't never ran from no man. I've been dead since I've been alive. Mm. I don't feel no, I don't feel shit, shit breathing like me. Mm. And any other man that said anybody, man, these niggas be lying. These niggas ain't got out here body and shit. These niggas ain't doing shit. So the niggas out here handling the business, and I know them well. Right. Right. But if it could, you know, most of just gotta be a man and worry about no death. Mm. I, I give all this Allah. I never would see a man. Right. Ever. You know what, Dave, with you being managing artists, I recall you was building the studio a little while ago, and I seen you was doing, like, the Fuck Fame tour, so I know you 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 know what's going on in the business. I want to know from you, though, King Dave, is, is all this shit make-believe, bro, because somebody told me that the music game, everybody not rich. Hell no, nah, man, these niggas be struggling. You know, mm. these niggas be having, <clears throat> you know, and it just look like it, you know. Mm -hmm. The music industry, this shit is fake it till you make it, you know. Mm -hmm. And some of your biggest artists don't even have fucking cars, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. So some of your biggest artists ain't taking care of their fucking kid. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't have the money that they say they making, you know. Everybody want to look like the man. But, you know, that's why I scream fuck fame, because it's like, if you fucked up, and a nigga, your nigga, you should be able to tell your nigga I'm broke. You ain't got a lot of me, you feel me? Right. I have. I'll burn it out for 125000 No, the fuck you didn't. Uh, That's what record is saying. Uh, no, you didn't. You beg, you beg motherfuckers to burn you out and sign your name to the devil. Uh, you burn out twelve five. You feel me? Uh, that shit crazy, bro. I actually heard you drop a record too, bro. Uh, I actually premiered it. It did like 4000 in a day, bro. Yeah. And you know that record? That wasn't no diss record. Right. I got... I got records right now with me and Rico, you know. Mm -hmm. I was working on some shit. 
Oh. They don't call me P. Diddy for nothing. Oh. But, you know, it just so happened I dropped the record around the time when all the shit going on. Right. You know, people took it like it was a diss, but it was no diss. Okay. Thing. I ain't this no motherfucking. I'ma say a motherfucking name, but I ain't even know all that this. Right. Know, bro. You know, you've been watching me. I'm, I'm real positive. And right. I, I help a lot of artists out, you know. Right. I'm, I'm currently, I've been helping Lil Tay out, you know, since he's been in jail. I'm finna drop some free cloud Lord T. Right. You know, we have been planning this for the last few months. So, you know, I do a lot of shit for artists. Um, I'm glad you said that, Dave. Then how the hell did you link up with all these artists and rocking these shirts? Because I ain't going to lie. When I go through my throwback moment and I listen to a lot of throwback music, I see this fuck fame shit when I didn't even know about fuck fame, bro. Man, I'm in the streets, bro. Man. That's why they fuck with me. Oh, you is? Come on, man. Yeah. I'm finna come with another fuck fame tour and do this one the right way. First one with the learning experience. We had a good time. Right. You know what I'm saying? We made a little money. We make a lot of money. Right. You know, you gotta put the right people together so people want to come out and see them. You know? Right. Uh. Just because you got followers, don't mean you got real fans that want to pay to see you. Like, uh. you see, like, Lil Pump and right. Extension and... Ooh, see, these motherfuckers packing arenas. Right. You got artists that got just as many followers as these niggas, and they can't even pack the house of blues, bro. Right. That's real, bro. Is it important to know the business? Yeah, man, you got to know the business. You know what I'm saying? It's, like, it's easy to trick a person when they don't know the business. Especially uh, a nigga that's coming from the hood, that's coming from nothing. He never seen nothing. Right. So, you know, especially and then you have a white man talk to him. A white man can tell a young black kid anything because right. he don't stand for shit because he don't know that he comes from shit. Uh. So you put a white man in front of him with a suit on, sell a nigga these dreams, he'll sell his, his mama life, his kids, his, his daddy life on the line. You know? That's real shit, so, bro. It, it's very important for people to learn the business, you know? I think people's YouTube stuff, read more. You know, black people, we hate reading. Put in the black and white, you'll beat us every time. But right. you know, I read a lot, bro. Right. So what's going on with this Fuck Fame brand? We still, yeah, yeah, you relaunching it again? I heard you was relaunching it again. Yeah, I'm relaunching it. I just dropped some new shit today. I'm going to be dropping shit all week, all okay. next week. Um, <clears throat> turn it back up. You know, I just came off an of injury. I had tore my Achilles. So, you know, I'm back full size. Okay. Walking, I ain't really running yet, but I'm walking without a limp and shit. That's so, all. Okay. You know, turning this bitch back up, bro. Okay, Dave, before we get up out of here, bro, give us some advice, bro, to start this entrepreneurship, bro, because a lot of people be wanting to get to this entrepreneur owning businesses, bro. I mean, what exactly do we got to do to get to that point where we can own our own fuck fame shit and start our fuck fame tours and shit like that? It's like Nike. Just do it. Right. A lot of people just talk about shit, but they don't do it. Talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. Then before you know it, one of your friends has started something. Uh -huh. Then your brother has started something. Then you, the person they can throw it to you has started something, but you're still talking, still talking, still talking. Because a lot of people, you know, they feel like they don't know. I didn't know much when I started fuck saying. Right. I had an idea. I put the shit out there. I started learning as I went along. Uh -huh. You know, I'm a sponge. You got to uh -huh. be a sponge. You got to be willing to listen to other people that's in the game. Right. Take a little advice. You know, you ain't got to listen to everything. But take the pointers and, and add your season on it and just do it and stay consistent. That's why Fuck Fame been winning for years. That's why you ain't seen people like Rich on mm -hmm. uh, Jeezy. You know what I'm saying? Like, Lil Jay was one of the biggest support supporters. Him, Stunt Taylor. Mm -hmm. uh, bunch of people. You know, the whole city of Chicago. Yeah. So, you know, I just tell people whatever you do, just 
do it and stay consistent, you're gonna win. You know, it's like coming up and I had a dope life. There was other people out there with a dope life. Right. And I started making money because why? I was there when it was slow as hell, and I was consistent and the work was good. So right. it's the same thing when you when you selling teas. You got to stay consistent and you got to be available for the people. And you can't be afraid to yeah. give out free things because I gave out free tea. Right. It's like drug game, American parents. You got to get out there. You got to give out samples to the people. Right. And then put it, get the right people the samples. That's going to go to the other people and bring the money back for you. Right. The right people, though. Not just giving them to anybody. Nah, hell no, nah, man. Just because the nigga walking, hey, man, I rap, man. Get me. <laughs> Always, you know, if he's swagging, he's dripping soft. I'm like, yeah, he needs to be in. Right. But if he walk up, he's sloppy as hair, he's right. filthy as fuck. Yeah. I'm a second guess it. But right. it's not my heart to like giving him a tea. I give him a tea. Right. Bet. I feel it. Nothing in this world for you, bro. Real shit. That is no, a I fact. Yeah, I'm just. No, I ain't never finna do that. <laughs> one of these people want to get up with this fuck fame tour, bro. They want to get one of these t-shirts or something. Let's get your social media sites and that website for fuck fame. The website is double F apparel. That's D O B U B L E. That, oh yeah, I forgot you mixtape hosting too, bro. The people can get up with you if they want to get a mixtape hosted, right? Yeah, man, artists trying to get them a little buzz. You know, I'm having artists build their buzz. I've been doing that for years. Right. Um, you know, lately, you know, I just down like ten or twenty. I just did like twenty mixtapes. Damn. Damn. I, I just did like twenty mixtapes for free. I get five hundred of mixtape. Right. But I just did like twenty mixtapes for free. Uh. And, 